Alrighty. So, uh, in the name of testing, we have a chicken pen with uh, wood chips covering the feed area to prevent spill. This leaves it at 100% cleanliness. And on the other side, we have the traditional conveyor belt into trailer system to pick up the spillage as it occurs and store it for the trailer. What we're testing is with the two pens both having 100 chickens, so they're just the small pens, they've got 5,000 litres worth of food, uh, we're going to fast forward time and see uh, essentially which one runs out of food first and also whether there is a much of a difference between what food has been reclaimed by the conveyor belt or if it's negligible. So uh, we will fast forward time and uh, see how it looks. Alrighty, so it's been about four days so far, and if we have a look, the chip pen has managed to get itself uh, 11 cartons worth of eggs, or give or take. Uh, the cleanliness, of course, is still at 100%. We haven't had to do anything, it's just the wood chips have been blocking the spilled food. The one that's been maintained by the belt, uh, initially that was actually behind the chip pen but the belt pen has started to gain the lead we're now up to the 12th box of eggs so that's weird because uh, on the first four or five it was actually getting about two boxes behind but now it's caught up and overtaken it um, the belt pen has used the exact same amount of food over the course of about four days we can look at our thing here so this is when I started got all the equipment brought all the pens and everything so we've had one, two, three, and we're on day number four now. And yeah, so from a full feed, which I think is about 4,000 litres, uh, the uh, chip pen has used that much. So we're down to 2973. And the belt pen has also used 2973. So the feed usage doesn't matter whether it's uh, covered by the chips or using the uh, f conveyor belt system or cleaning so I suppose whether you go through the shovel or you know uh, however you want to clean it up uh, forage wagon etc uh, or forage wagon work for grass but yeah, you know what I mean um, the other thing I noticed is the egg litre count I always thought that was a total amount of eggs per pen but it's actually per current carton so that tells me that this particular carton right in the front middle here is actually only got one litre of eggs inside of it um, rather than the total literage which I don't know what it is it's whatever it is per carton uh, about 150 I think it was and the only other thing to note is over the course of the four days we've been steadily collecting the uh, pickups of the spilled food back into this trailer and it's got about 2016 litres uh, to that, yeah 2016 so if we quickly whip out the calculator sorry do bear with me so if we take 2016 litres and then we add in the food that we currently have on the uh, pen itself so 2973 which gives us uh, 4,989 litres worth of food. So if I had a maximum capacity of 5,000 instead of 4,000 like I thought it was, uh, so we take away 5,000, 
which gives us a, a variance of about 11 litres, but uh, yeah, if it was a, no it was 5,000 wasn't it, yeah, okay, so I'm wrong, uh, 5,000, yeah, so we, we've only lost 11 litres, um, but we have had to maintain the cleaning area to get the cleanliness and productivity at its maximum. So that tells me that over the course of four days, 11 litres of wheat will get you, um, well, 12, well, 11, 11 cartons worth of eggs. So wheat, eggs, yeah, so you're looking about a litre of food per egg carton as long as you save it and clean it up and keep it. Um, whereas if you use the wood chips to save on the cleanliness and just get the eggs out of it, you're losing the uh, quantity of feed. Yeah, so you're losing the feed quantity in exchange for the eggs, but uh, with this one where the feed consumed is similar, the spilled food that you can collect makes up the difference. So from a monetary standpoint it makes sense to maintain the pens and keep them clean. Uh, and from an ease of use standpoint it makes sense to put the wood chips down so you don't have to worry about cleaning, you just keep topping up the food once every 10 days and collect the eggs and be done with it. But you know, if you're going to start maintaining the, f the um, the yard, it makes sense to re-click that wheat and either put it back into the feed trough so that way you've got the feed continually supplied um, or keep the wheat and once your trailer is full take it off and sell it. So yeah, it's uh, very curious. The, the chickens basically eat nothing considering the amount of you know, four or five thousand litres worth of food that you can give them. They don't eat very much of it at all but the wood chip idea kind of puts it to waste. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what we've come up with.